Well, this is it. We have reached the final two games of the season. And it's quite simple. Win them both and we'll be crowned champions of the Premier League. But slip up and it could all go pear-shaped. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to the Liberty Stadium in Swansea. And if you are a first time visitor, then why not subscribe, like, watch and comment. Help the channel to grow and help us to support the very worthwhile cause that you can see scrolling above. And it, if you have been following, you'll know it's been an amazing season. And no matter what happens in these final two games of the season, Swansea can be very, very proud. And we have two tricky little fixtures coming up, but they are games that we should be winning. And so um, there is no excuse, really, if we don't beat Wolves away and we don't win in our final game against Brighton at home. And we need to win them both because Liverpool have recently um, beaten Blackburn away by four goals to one. So Liverpool have gone back on top and are clear of us by a point. And any slip-up in these two final games could cost us the title. But the first job is against Wolves, where we have to win this so that we can go back on top of the table. And uh, looking um, at the fixtures, we have Wolves away today. Liverpool have one fixture left um, on the final day of the season, where they are at home to West Ham and we are at home to Brighton. We cannot rely on Liverpool to slip up. We simply have to win both games. Liverpool have a superior goal difference, so if we get a draw, that is not going to help us. So we really, we've got to focus on winning both of these games. Um, Wolves away is probably the trickier one of the two, and um, we need to be at our very best. They are a very fast team. We know how dangerous they are. And so I would say, let's go and play the first game against Wolves. And it's uh, Junior in goal, with Mailer, Williams, Kotchup and Augustinson at the back. Elneny, Grimes, Hannibal and Adley in midfield, with Lavery and Brozier coming in for Vitinha and Barassi up front. Um, we've dropped Vitinha and Barassi because they have been so out of form. And we saw that in the uh, Europa Cup semi-finals, that their finishing was appalling. And so I'm actually hoping that uh, just by leaving them out today, it might give them a shake-up and uh, that Lavery and Brozier can do the business for us and uh, take us one step further to claiming the championship. But it is Wolves on the attack and there is a chance and they just put it past the post and we do need to be very, very careful. Robin Neves has a free kick now and he's clipped the top of the crossbar and we do need to be very careful. I'm going to just tell them to stay on their feet. I'm a, a bit concerned about their pace and I don't want us diving into tackles and letting them skip past us. But at the moment, it's pretty dead here at Molyneux. It's Wolves nil, Swansea nil. Wolves have had the better of the game and um, we need to step it up a little bit. But here come Wolves again and they are looking to build up the right. And there's a lovely crossfield ball and they are in and it is Traore. And he has whistled a shot over the crossbar. And I'm going to ask the team now to press a little less. Uh, we do need to, we do know they're pacey. Um, and they, it does seem like they're getting behind us very, very easily. But at the moment, as we come up to um, 60 minutes gone, it is still Wolves nil, Swansea nil. And Swansea do have a highlight. This is our first highlight in the 60th minute. And catch, catch up. He finds Grimes catch up. And uh, he's looking for Brozier. Brozier has fed... Mailer on the right, and there's a chance, and it is in, Brozier has scored. What a decision to play Brozier and Lavery today. Brozier, I think it was a mistake in the Wolves' defence. I think it just cannoned off the defender, and Brozier was there to pick up the pieces. He fed Mailer on the right, 
Mailer made his way to the byline, pulled it back. Yes, it was a mistake by the Wolves defender. Ambrosia was on hand to pick up the loose ball and pop it into the back of the net. It is now Wolves nil, Swansea won. And if we can now keep, keep a clean sheet, then the first part of this job is done. But here come Wolves again, and it is Jimenez with a long-range shot. And Lewis Jr. tips that over the bar. I don't mind them taking shots from 25, 30 yards. Jr. should be able to cope with those. But it is squeaky bum time, and uh, it is Wolves coming back into this game. They are not sitting back and allowing us to win this. They are playing their part, and there is a chance, but that's an easy save for Lewis Jr. Uh, I really um, I really can't cope with this much longer. It is very, very, very um, difficult to watch. Uh, we need to keep a clean sheet. We just need to hold on to this. We're playing a little bit. Um, shorter with a shorter tempo, the lower tempo now, trying to keep the ball. And here is Lavery. Lavery is in, and that's a save. And so our problems with one on ones with the goalkeepers continues. Lavery is at it now, and he can't get the ball past the goalkeeper. It is still Wolves nil, Swansea one. And if we can just get that second goal, then my nerves will be feel a lot easier. And here is Lavery. Lavery turns back, looks for Levitt. Levitt to Hannibal. Hannibal, who's come in and had a very good season. And here is Adley through, and that is another save. And it's not just our strikers, it's our entire team who cannot put the ball past the goalkeeper. And it is a big worry as we come up to the final couple of games of the season. And here's a corner, and that goes harmlessly out for a throw. And if we can't score, then we're just going to need to tighten things up and slow the game down, do everything we can to stop them scoring now. And just hold on. Hold on, boys, as it is Kotchap. Kotchap finds Malassia. Malassia to Hannibal. Hannibal in acres of space. Can he find a pass? He can. And here is Lavery this time. <laughs> and it still, still won't go in. And we still are holding on. It's Wolves nil, Swansea won. And we have won the game. Part one of the of what we need to do is over, and we have gone back to the top of the table, and and we just need to do part two now, and um, hopefully we will get the result against Brighton, and we will we will do the business, and uh, I, I can barely speak, I can barely uh, watch this Liverpool. Uh, we'll play West Ham at home for their final game. We will play Brighton. We should beat Brighton, but nothing is guaranteed. It's a young team, and um, they are going to um, suffer a little bit, as I am suffering. But we're just going to go out, do our best. While I was um, setting up for the Brighton game, I did notice that we might have some more serious problems come the summer. Success has brought a lot of um, notice to our players. And um, a lot of our players are wanted. Taylor Howard Bellis is wanted. Clinton Matter is wanted. I wouldn't mind actually selling him just to raise a little bit of money. He's 32 years old now and probably well past his sell-by date. But Augustinson um, is wanted too by Roma. It's gonna be hard to keep hold of these players especially if we don't win the title. And uh, Yaxin Adli is wanted by Borussia Dortmund. And um, of course, um, Yusuf Barassi is still wanted. He is um, wanted by Dortmund as well. And so many of our players are actually wanted. He has an 83 million pound um, release clause, so we might not lose him. Bella Kotchup is wanted, but I have listed him. I feel that we can make some money out of him, and we do have a lot of cover at the back, so we might make a little um, little pot out of him. And um, it, it's going to be a tough summer, I think, trying to keep this squad together. But for now, we just have to focus on Brighton and, and winning our game against Brighton. That is the first thing that we need to do. And um, so uh, if we can win here, 
then we will win the Premier League. And so the team today against Brighton for the final game of the season is Junior Ingo with Mela, Williams, Thiet and Malassia at the back. Elneny, Grimes, Hannibal and Maggio in midfield with Brozier and Vitinha up front. I do believe this is our strongest team and it's a team that we should be winning against Brighton under normal circumstances this would be a very very easy game for us but it is a very very big game for these boys and um, I'm just hoping that they are up for it and that they can take the game to Brighton we are going to play it in a very positive way we're not going to sit back um, we are going to take the game to them and try to win it and win the win the title it's all down to this <coughs> and we do need to take uh, keep an eye on how Liverpool are getting on against West Ham and at the moment after coming up to half time Liverpool are drawing nil nil and Swansea are drawing nil nil so it's still all to play for as Brighton look to bring it out from the back and we need to close them down and we've done that and here is El Nenny. El Nenny finds Maggio, Maggio to Brogia, Brogia and that was a chance and it's cleared and it's going to be picked up by Rhys Williams at the back. We are looking I think marginally the better team um, based on the highlights that, that we've seen and here is a chance and Vatinia, Vatinia has put us a goal up and we are on the way to the title if we can keep this going then we are possibly going to be crowned champions of the Premier League in just our third season since coming up from the championship what a performance what a story this will be and how proud will the city of Swansea be when Swansea are crowned champions it is still Liverpool nil-nil against West Ham in the other game we need to just focus on what we're doing. We're going to tell them to keep going. We're winning the title. Let's go out there, get another one, and win the title. And we do have work to do, though. We can't rest on our laurels. This could all change in the final 25 minutes. And it's Brighton looking to come forward. And there is a looking to come down the, the right-hand side. But Malassia, Malassia has found has found Vatinia but his pass can't find Brogia and Brighton again have the ball and they they do like to play out from the back and we are pressing them very high and hoping to take the ball off them and they, we have forced them into a poor pass and Williams picks up the loose ball from Malassia he finds Mela Mela looks to come down our right this time he looks inside for Maggio Maggio over the top and here is Brogia it is 2-0, Swansea 2, Brighton 0. Is that game set and match? But it might yet not count. And the referee's checking VAR. It has been disallowed. Is FM planning to do something more before the end of this game? There are still 24 minutes left. It was so close. Marginally offside. I'd have allowed it. But the referee had other ideas. And Liverpool are still drawing nil-nil with West Ham. And so it's still title on. And we are still 1-0 up here against Brighton. And here is Adley. Adley and Brocher. I think he might have been offside again. The referee is checking VAR. Was he offside? I think he was. Oh, dear. I think it was very close, but I think he was offside. No, the goal has been awarded. It is Swansea 2, Brighton 0. And El Nenny did very well. Adley fed Brogia, and Brogia put it into the corner. And we are 2 0 up. And we just checked that. It was very close, but yep, it was the left sided player for Brighton who put him on side. It is now Swansea 2, Brighton 0. The title is on. Unless we do something really stupid now, which is always possible, then the title belongs in Swansea. And we are going to see ourselves crowned as champions of the Premier League. And that is it. The game is over. And no matter what Liverpool have done now, we have won the title. And I'm just going to tell them they have done superbly. Go out and enjoy yourselves. Have a great time. And we're all going to party down in Swansea.
especially as Liverpool and West Ham drew nil-nil. And so we have won the title by four points from Liverpool. What a fabulous, fabulous um, performance it's been this season. We are absolutely delighted. And I've just realised we didn't see the trophy celebration, which is a bit, uh, which is not very nice. It would have been nice to see us picking up the trophy. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but it just didn't happen. And I feel a little bit cheated. It would have been really nice to see that. And, and many of the ex-players are in total disbelief that we have won the Premier League. I am in total disbelief that we've done it. It has been an amazing season. And, but while the players go off on holiday and enjoy themselves, we have work to do here in the back room. And we have a transfer window to manoeuvre and wow we'll take we'll take a little rest and before beginning our work in the transfer window in the summer and that's it for this video if you are new to the channel then why not subscribe like watch and comment help the channel to grow and help us to support the very worthwhile cause that we are trying to support and all that remains to be said now is we will see you for the season review, news of the transfer window and the first game of the new season where we will be trying hard to defend our Premier League crown. We shall see you very soon.